Down, sit down, you are electricity, 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 wet, 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 sexy, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down. Good morning friends, I'm Dr. Claude Forras and today we are going to talk about the brainwashing of the news media. Pay attention please, in the next videos that I'm preparing, you are going to see how they can do that. Today we are going to see an interview to a CIA agent who has agents in the media news to control the news, the brainwashing through repetition of words and the theater behind them. With a cup of wine, I'm a fucking genius. We are better than them. Smell the freedom and have a lovely day. My pleasure. Everyone should have a healthy distrust of the media. One of the most dangerous unspoken things in existence in the world today is a media controlled by a very small group of corporate entities. Every day, we are constantly lied to and constantly told what to think. And most of us never even realize it. It's become a duty and call to action to wake people up to this reality. Before blindly listening to what's hurled at you, everyone has a personal responsibility to at least know what's going on before handing your mind over to the many forms of media indoctrination. In short, wake up. feeling that the news anchors on television are just mindless media parrots repeating the same talking points over and over again. Well, if you haven't, you might after seeing this. Spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some of the spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take the spring out of the step of the Easter Bunny step this year feeling that economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. But seriously, kudos to Conan O'Brien for once again exposing the media repeaters. Look guys, obviously this is no coincidence. The question remains, where are all these news stations getting their scripts from? Well, there are affiliate news services that supply packages and scripts to hundreds of stations around the country. Stations then have their anchors read the canned story with the generic script. Now, you might look at this and say, it's just indicative of how lazy local news can be. But consider the implications of this kind of reporting for one second. Say it wasn't an Easter bunny, and rather, the story being mindlessly regurgitated was about a virus, a terrorist attack, or a report on war casualty counts. The bottom line is that people who watch the news tend to trust this information, information that then influences their perception and decisions. So for these anchors to ask no questions, do no fact-checking, and hold no differing interpretation of the news they're delivering is not only absurd, it's downright dangerous. All your thoughts about blatant police misconduct routinely caught on video, but it gets psychologically downplayed, and they successfully make half of our society believe there's another side of the story. They also run completely fake news stories to support the fake war on terror on a regular basis. If you don't think that's true, hang on just a second. The government sends agents out to trick poor, desperate, sometimes even mentally challenged people, easily lured in by the promise of money. Then they lock them up and throw them on the news as militant Islamic terrorists on the loose who have been apprehended by great work as they promote the law enforcement and intelligence agencies as heroes. The faces we're talking about was all a setup. Well, three men convicted of trying to blow up synagogues in New York have each been sentenced to 25 years in prison. But the case has raised huge uh, controversy after they were actually incited uh, by the FBI and handed fake bombs. Well, critics claim it was a setup, but the judge uh, said her hands were tied. Marina Porton, I has more. Well, I, I've been a journalist for about 25 years, and I was educated to lie, to betray, 
and uh, not to tell the truth to the public. And it is not right what my colleagues do on, and have done in the past, because they are bribed uh, to betray the people, not only in Germany, all over Europe. The reason... Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to a major circulation American journal? We do have people who submit pieces to other to American journals. Do you have any people paid by the CIA who are working for television networks? This, I think, gets into the kind of uh, getting into the details, Mr. Chairman, that I'd like to get into an executive session. Listen, we had a great interview last time. I was wondering if you get a chance to look into Operation Mockingbird? I, you know what that is. You're talking about something what, from the 1950s, dude? 1970s, official declassified program, how the CIA infiltrated the mainstream media from the higher up. <laughs> right. It's declassified. I read about it in college, yes, I do. Nice. Do you think it's something that could ha possibly be happening today? I have no comment for you. Thanks, dude. Brilliant is how a top Western official called tricking the public through routine faking of atrocities and commonly aired on mainstream bulletins. Nightly news shows just a few cases of what happened next after mainstream cameras ended their reports. It shows people putting on, you know, fake wounds, it shows there's some guys there. Look, there's their head wounds. Peace, everybody. You know, we're doing the right thing. We're, we're creating fake propaganda. I mean, In the heart of this great city, we saw tragedy arrive on a quiet morning. September the 11th. September the 11th. September the 11th. September 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 11th. You have been systematically programmed to hate Islam. Hate Islam. Hate Islam. You've been conditioned to blame religion through image cognition. I can make you bark like Pavlov's dog. Excuse me. I can make you bow to man-made gods. Repeat what you see. Error, error. Repeat after me. Fear, terror. Fear.